Hi guys, today I want to talk about Synology 2 Base and let you know what's the best for your media, your budget and the home. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, it is worth highlighting that there are other small NASes other than the four we're going to talk about today. There's a one bay, the DS-118, nice little NAS, and of course there's a more powerful two bay, the DS-718 Plus. But we're not talking about those because we want to focus on these for two bays because these are the ones that seems to be getting the most attention from you we've got the one at the end the ds218j the least powerful of all of them after that we've got the ds218 plus 218 plus is obviously the more fully featured of all of them we've got the ds218 play the more multimedia centric and of course the standard ds218 all four of them seem remarkably similar with very similar hardware and if you don't know what you're looking for it can be very misleading but ultimately these four nazis cater to different budgets and different demands and needs and if you don't know which one's which you might end up buying the wrong one and either going massively overkill and spending too much money or tying yourself down to a nas that just really isn't going to perform so who is each one of these nazis aimed at well let's talk about the ds218j first now the ds218j it's the least powerful of all of them. It's got a Marvel AR M-based CPU. It's a 1.3 gigahertz dual-core CPU. On top of that, it arrives with half a gig of DDR3 memory. The unit itself has got USB 3 ports. It has no hard drive trays there on the front. It does support things like Plex and DLNA, but you can forget about transcoding, and it will work as a media server. You can use it for your Apple Time Machine backups. You can utilize it as a multimedia server or iTunes server, and you can utilize a lot of the programs that arrive with Synology's DSM software. You've got surveillance, you've got a few of the Office applications, you've got mail, and you've got um, some like calendar stuff, and I'm not sure if it supports chat, and it definitely doesn't support virtualization or container station. So who is the DS218 I aimed at? Well, to be perfectly honest, those that don't have a lot of money. It's gonna be people that have got, you know, one to maximum five users, people that want to utilize it predominantly for backups, maybe a bit of multimedia streaming, but that's about your lot. You're not gonna see much more use from this device other than that. That said, at this price point, it's probably one of the best NASes of the four in, in terms of what you're getting for your money, because under this, there is actually another uh, two bay, an old one called the DS216 SE, and that really was pants. But for what you're paying, you're actually getting a lot of good hardware inside this NAS. And I would recommend this to anyone that needs network backups of two or three machines, or is just looking for a centralized, low-end multimedia server that you want to stream your media from to all your different devices, your PlayStations and your smart TVs, but at the same time, don't want something that's gonna blow your socks off because you're not really gonna utilize that. Another thing, if you're a small shop and you wanna run a few IP cameras, this does arrive with two camera licenses and will support up to 12 cameras. So you will be able to have a few IP cameras dotted around the shop over a network utilizing your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, you know, network internally. And that really will help you in your business. So predominantly home with a little bit of business. Next, let's talk about the DS218 Play. Now this is the NAS that's designed for multimedia in mind. It's got a Realtek CPU inside, the Realtek RTD1296. It's a quad core, uh, 1.6 gigahertz CPU. And this supports transcoding and playback of 4K. It can be utilizing, and it can do everything the 218J can do, but can do it more. That said, although it has got that CPU and one gig of DDR4 memory, it is worth highlighting that this device does not currently support Plex. Plex is still not available for the Realtek-based CPU family. So the RTD 1295 and 96, it is not supported on this device, so do bear that in mind. But if you're other than Plex, this is still a great NAS and utilized for multimedia use. It can have you know, 10 to maybe even 15 units. It supports up to 15 cameras and it, in surveillance and still gives you everything the 218J did. But if your interest is mainly multimedia more than the likes of backing up, this is definitely the NAS for you. But once again, if you're looking at Plex, call it a day on this one. Next, we can talk about the standard unit, the DS218. Now, the 218 and the 218 Play have nearly identical specs. They have different chassis, as you can see from the screen, but still, nevertheless, they're, they've got exactly the same CPU and exactly the same type of memory DDR4, but with the DS218 arriving with 2 gig and the Play with 1 gig. It does everything the Play does, but you get uh, pay a little bit more money, and it's got better ports on it with USB and that LAN, and hard drive, uh, swappable hard drive base, and in terms of surveillance, it can support more cameras, 20 to 25 cameras. So 
If you were looking at the play but you needed something that had that level of multimedia support but you still wanted some of the backup and utilization for your small business or all those cameras, that's where the DS218 comes in. It gives you everything the play does with a little bit more towards file handling on the side. So if you're looking for a nice balance between the two but still don't have a huge budget, that's where the DS218 comes in. And finally, the DS218 Plus. Now the TS218 Plus, well that's not the most powerful two bay, that goes to the DS718 Plus. But the DS218 Plus is the best NAS right now from Synology in their two bays. It's not that it's the most powerful, as I say it isn't, but in terms of what you are paying and what you get from it, you've got a great NAS there. You've got a dual core uh, J series, J3355, and that CPU is a dual core 2.0 GHz CPU that can be bursted up to 2.5. It also arrives with 2 GB of DDR3 memory and supports the likes of Plex with transcoding to a certain degree. It supports lots of cameras in surveillance station. It supports loads of the latest applications in DSM, Synology Chat, Synology Office, Synology Mail, Synology Calendar, all of those new great applications, as well as a certain degree of support for virtualization, depending on which software you use or if you're a Windows Server user. On top of that, in terms of uh, Photo Station um, and Synology Drive, Synology Moments, and all of those great um, file allocation and file um, repository um, uh, applications that let you have the perfect center for your data to access in the way you want, as well as utilizing all the current Synology apps and modern NAS apps to the greatest degree, that's where the DS218 Plus comes in. Of course, you pay a little bit more and it will consume a little bit more power because of that CPU inside, but it's still the best of the four. So once again, if your budget is real tight, the ds 21 ha is still a solid NAS to go for with DLNA support, media support, and Plex support. If you're looking for something more media-centric and you've got 4K to play back and transcode, but you're not interested in things like Plex and you're not interested in modern business and backup applications, that's where your DS218 comes in. And the DS218 Play, I'm oh sorry, our DS218 Play is for your multimedia, but if you do want some of those business and file management apps, that's where the DS218 comes in. And finally, if you want a little bit of everything at the best possible price, that's the DS218 Plus. If you want to learn more, do click the link in the description below, or don't forget to click like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And don't also forget to take advantage of the free advice section on NAS Compares. Just go straight to NAS Compares right now on another tab, Control T, and right there on the right hand side, free advice. And I do mean free advice. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.